Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a great wall workout for you. All you will need is a flat surface wall that you'll be able to open your legs and close them. So make sure you have like a wide enough space. Uh, you will not need socks this time for it. So I'm going barefoot because I just like to be barefoot. Anyway, um, come join me. Let's get down on the floor here. For this first um, move, I want you as close to the wall as possible. Now, not everybody can get as close to the wall as I can, and that is totally fine, okay? If you have to be out here, that is okay too. Just however close that you're able to get to that wall, okay? Um, so don't um, judge your process, uh, progress on how I'm doing. Always judge it by you. Because uh, once again, this workout is for you and no one else. All right, you guys, so let's get as close to the wall as your body will allow you to. And I want your feet to be flat up against that wall. So your feet and your heel, that whole bottom is just flat against that wall. What I want you to do is I want you to push them down into like a shelf area. Again, if this position is too hard for you, you can see how my knees are super close to me. By all means, scoot your butt back, okay? All right, now what I want you to do is have your arms straight up in prayer position. That's just kind of like you're clapping right here. And what I'm gonna have you do now is you're gonna open up those legs nice and wide, okay? Keeping your feet flat against that wall. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate sides. We're gonna open up our arms. We're gonna crunch up and put our arms on each side of that leg. Try to touch the wall. Don't worry if you can't touch the wall, you're like, yeah, Summer, that ain't happening. That's good too. Just go down as far as you can, come back up, clap, and then out to the other one and clap. Right like this. Come join me if you haven't already. There you go, over to the side. Now you wanna exhale going up and inhale coming down. And each time I go into the middle, I'm pausing and resting my neck and my head. Also, when I am crunching up, I am making sure my chin is up the whole time. I'm not looking down. I'm looking up, giving myself that gap right there. That's what we are looking for. Alternating sides. Now you may feel yourself starting to push back. I am. I can tell that I'm going further away from that wall because I can no longer touch it. See, look it. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's just keep going. All right, you guys, we have four more. Four, three. Oh, I feel these ones right away. Are you guys feeling these? Ooh, last one. Nice. All right, you guys, let's scoot up. If you were like me and scooted uh, backwards during that move, uh, scoot back up. All right, for this next one. Okay, you guys, again, if you can't get as close to the wall as I can, no problem. All right, let's do that next move. Now the next move is, if you notice my, so, okay, straighten your legs for me, and now I want you to slightly bend them, just like this. Having your feet flat against the wall again. Our arms are gonna go down to the side, and we're gonna push into the ground while we're doing the next workout. And we're doing that because it helps engage the abs even more. All right, so what we're going to do is, I'm gonna show you with the right leg, my right leg is going to bend underneath my left like this. Now, let's say you're like Summer, I cannot do that. If you're like this, this works too, all right? Or if you or if you can go under the leg, but your knee just can't go down as much as mine, that's okay too. Whatever that looks like for you, having your um, leg underneath that other one, just make it happen. And again, if you're farther away, same thing, just get it underneath that left uh, leg. All right, you guys, what we're gonna do from here, we're gonna point our toes my on my right leg, excuse me, my right leg, my toes are pointed now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly, um, by lifting up my butt right here, vertebrae, I'm lifting up, gonna kick out my, my right leg, and then I'm gonna scoop it back under while pushing down to this ground. So my left leg and my left foot is flat against that wall. I'm lifting up and I'm lifting right back down, scooping that leg under. Lift it up and then down. 
my stomach's in nice and tight. Ooh, I feel these ones like right away. Kicking it out and then right back in. And again, if you can't kick out as far as I do, that's okay. Just my main thing here is I just want you to try to point your toe. And if you can't point your toe as much as I can, that's good too. Many years of dance class for me. <laughs> just point it however you can and kick that leg out however far you can. So if you're like this, that's good too. That's all you got. This works too, okay? But when you lift up, I kind of want you to turn that hip up and then I want you to go right back down. I don't want you to put any stress on that back. Sorry, I was noticing that I went up on my left foot there. Keep that one flat against that wall. One more guys and down, nice job. Okay, I'm gonna adjust myself again, a little bit closer to this wall. Jiggle, jiggle, rock, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> All right, now my right leg is going to go flat against this wall. My left leg is going to cross over under it. Point this toe. I'm going to bring mine down just a little bit because this is um, a harder side for me. All right, hands onto the side. Here we go. Lift up, kick it out, scoop it right back under. Lift up, kick it out. Scoop it right back under. Nice. Kick it out and then under. However that looks for you. Nice. Keeping that stomach in nice and tight. Engaging those abs the whole time. So you're up. Woo! And down. Ooh, my shirt's all bushled up here. Kick it out and cross it. A friendly reminder that your right foot stays flat against that wall. It is going to want to go up on the toe. You probably noticed me doing it a couple times. Don't do that. <laughs> you kick it out. Nice. All right, you guys, we have one more. Here we go. Cross it out and down. Nice. All right. I'm gonna wiggle myself back towards the wall. All right. Okay, you guys, now what we're going to do, we're gonna start right like this. I want you to um, have your knees slightly bent again, feet are against the wall there, so my toes and my heels are against. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna open wide and then we're gonna close them. Open wide and then close. Open wide and close. Nice and simple, nothing too crazy. All I ask is that your feet go flat each movement. Push down into that ground, stomach's in nice and tight. Woo, all right. Here's four more right here. Four, three, two, last one. One, nice job guys. All right, now what I'm... Okay guys, sorry I did have to edit. I don't like to do that, but I got a phone call or no emergency thing on my phone and it knocked me out of my video. So um, let's go into the next move. So the next move, you're gonna be right like this. Your knees are gonna be slightly bent, all right? Um, hands are down on the ground. Okay, now what I want you to do is your right leg, I want you to go up with your heel. So I want that one to be completely straight. And I want you to have a flexed foot. And then I want you to bring down that left one just a little bit and bend it a little bit more. And what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna slide that heel up while curving and like lifting from the hip. But I want you guys to do this motion with your hip and then right back down, just similar to the last move that we did but you're sliding it up right like that, squeezing those butt cheeks behind you, and then going right back down, pushing into this ground like we did before. So slide it up, woo, and then slide it right back down. Bring it all the way up, stomach's in tight, and then right back down. I'm actually gonna hold my shirt, guys, because it keeps choking me. Um, so squeeze those butt cheeks when you're up, and then down. 
So what I'm doing is I'm going up one, two, three, four, and then I go right back down. So I'm lifting up one, two, three, four, and then right back down. My left leg is staying flat against the uh, wall. I think you can see there. My foot stays flexed, and then I'm going right back down. One more time, slide it up and back down. I'm gonna scoop back up towards this wall. I'm gonna hold my shirt again. Sorry, I know it doesn't look pretty, but huh, I don't want to choke. All right, you guys, so I'm going to hold on to my shirt. You can do the same or push down into that ground. When you do push down into that ground, you do engage those ab muscles. So I do recommend it unless you're being choked by your shirt like me. By all means, hold on to it. All right, you guys, let's straighten that left leg. Uh, heels onto that wall. Foot is flexed. This foot is flat against it, right like this. Roll yourself up, squeeze that butt cheeks, one, two, three, four, and then bring it right back down. Bring it up, one, two, three, four, and bring that right back down, nice and slow. Bring it up, one, two, three, four, and then bring that down. Lift it up, one, two, three, four, and then down. Now when I go up, I'm going up as much as my shoulder blades right there and then back down. Now if you can't lift up that much, if you can only be here, then just go right here. It's okay. Just squeeze those cheeks and you'll get maximum benefit. So you want to go up, just squeeze those cheeks behind you and then right back down. Bringing it up and then right back down. All right, you guys, let's do this one more time. Bringing it up, hold it, one, two, three, four, and then bring it down. Nice job, guys. All right, I'm gonna scoot close again to this wall. You, you guys are probably also having to scoot down. All right, let's put our, so let's straighten both of our legs, keeping our heels uh, against that wall, flexing those feet if you can, all right, or as much as you can. Our arms are going to go right here, and we're going to do what we did before um, when we opened and closed, but this time it's going to be straight legs, and it's going to be with heels. So here we go. I want you to open up, and I want you to close. Open up, and then close. Keeping your legs as straight as you can. Now, I have arthritis. I've had it my whole life, so my knees um, they don't like to straighten. They're like, yeah, no. So it does look like I'm not straightening my legs, but they actually are. <laughs> hey, we work with what we got, right guys? All right, keep those feet flexed. Open up and close. Let's do five more. We have five. My stomach's in nice and tight. Woo, working those abs too. I am feeling this one, guys. All right, let's do two more. All right, one more. Open it and then close. Nice job, guys. All right, you guys, sorry, I had to edit again. Got another alert. Okay, so our next move, I forgot where I was. Um, oh, yes. Okay, so our next move, get as close to that wall as you can, all right? And what I want you to do is I want you to slide down as much as you can, as tight as you can. So you see how close my heels are to my butt and how much I have them down and my knees are like right here, I'm like a little ball here. That's what I want you to do. But by all means, if this is what you can do, that's okay. We'll work with it, so don't worry about it, okay? But I'm gonna do this because this is what I am able to do, but that's okay, wherever you are. So we're gonna go up on our toes Okay, so even if you're out here, up on those toes, all right? So we're gonna go up, and I want you to walk up, toes pointed, you straighten this so you can see me, straight leg, we're gonna straighten the leg, and then we're gonna bend it. And then we're gonna walk back down with our toes. Okay, all right, so for those of you who can't be like, like I was like that scrunched up, up on your toes, you're still walking up on your toes, straight legs. I still want you to kick it out, 
and then I want you to give me a knee. I still want you to give me a kick and then give me a knee. And then get up on those toes and then go back to wherever you were. All right? All right, here we go. Let's go up. If you haven't started already with me, kick it. Give me that knee. Nice. Kick it. Oops, I was going to give me a knee. <laughs> give me that knee. And toes back down. Nice and slow. Now the trick with this one, and I'm holding my um, shirt again, guys, because it just keeps pulling. You're going to come up. Okay. Squeeze those cheeks behind you now. Kick the straight leg, knee. Now, if you can't kick that much and this is all you got, that's good too. Just get up on those toes. Bring it right back down. Nice job, guys. All right, let's bring it back up. Bring it up. Squeeze that butt. Little kick, if you got it, or a big kick, whatever. Little knee if you got it, or a big knee. Just give me a kick, whatever that looks for you, and then knee. Nice. Again, up. Straight legs, butt squeeze, kick it. Give me a knee. Kick it. Give me a knee. Woo! You guys, tell me you are feeling this. I need to know in the comments how many of you all felt this one. Seriously, walk it up. My legs are on fire. Woo! All right, kick it, give me that knee, and then bring it back down. Nice job, guys. All right. All right, you guys, we're gonna do the next move. What we're gonna do is similar to the one that we just did. Um, so what we're gonna do is our legs are gonna be straight. Oh, by the way, I scooted up uh, near this wall. Um, we're gonna be straight leg. Now, we're gonna do the same move we just did, but without the walkout with the toes and stuff. All we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up, squeezing our butt cheeks. We're gonna kick and then do knee and then kick and then do knee, alternating sides, but we're gonna stay up there the whole time. All right, you guys, so here we go. Lift up, by the way, this is our last move, so you guys got this, okay? Don't stop now, here we go. We're gonna go straight leg, knee. Straight leg, kick, knee. Now what I want you to do, if you, if you need to, you can support that back, right like this, okay? Or just put your hands on, oops, hands on your knees, or hips, oh my gosh. All right, I can't talk anymore, guys. Awesome, kick it, and then knee. I'm gonna pull my shirt down so that I don't get choked. Here we go, kick it, knee, nice job, kick it, and then me. Woo! You guys, seriously. Wow, this one's a good one. Kick and then me. All right, we're gonna do this one more time on each side. Here we go. Kick it, knee. Kick it and then me. Woo! And then slowly go right back down. You guys, we did it. Woo, that was a hard one. All right, I'm gonna get as close as I can to this wall. What I want you to do is I want you to put your feet together and get those knees out as much as you can, whatever that looks like. So my feet are touching, my toes are touching, my heels are touching, my um, knees are out. And what I want you to do is gently push those knees down as much as you can. Now again, if you're like this, just still do that. I just want you to kind of grab the inside of that thigh, not the knee, but inside that thigh and just open it up as much as you can. All right. And if you can be like me, I want you to go for straight arms when you're pushing down, if you can. Oh, you guys, that felt so good. That was a good one. Did you guys like this one? Let me know if you like these wall workouts. All right, and then put the legs together. Straighten up one leg, and I want you to flex that foot for me, bending this uh, other one in, and I just want you to hold that. All right, since that one's already there, I want you to open up as much as you can, whatever that looks like. If you can go all the way down to the floor, well, hallelujah to you. <laughs> I'm not quite to the floor, but I'm not, 
I'm not too far bad. But if this is all you got, that's okay too. It's still a great stretch. And hold. Nice, bring that up. Ooh, let's straighten that other leg. Nice and straight, flexing that foot, heels up against that wall, and hold. Ooh. Open that up as much as you can. Get down to that floor if you can. If you, I wanna know who is able to get their foot down to the floor. That's okay if you can't, I, I'm not. My, my foot's not down on that floor. And then bring it up. Ooh, nice job guys. Straighten both those legs. All right, arms are gonna be right here on those knees. I want you to slowly just lift up, tuck that head in. Hold, and then down. I want you to lift those arms over that head and I want you to stretch. I want you to pretend I'm back behind you and I'm pulling those arms. Pull, pull, pull. Come back up nice and slowly to those knees. Curve up again, tuck that head in. Hold. Down slowly, arms overhead, pull. And release. All right, you guys, I want you to bend your legs like this. Um, one leg is, actually, you know what? I am gonna back up for this one. Everyone back up a little bit. Don't be so close to that wall. Oh. All right, cross one leg over the other if you can. Uh, in the inside of the knee, not on the knee, I want you to push down as much as you can. Now, if this is too difficult for you, I want you to cross over by um, your calf muscle right here, and then I want you to open up, okay? But if you are able to, get that across that other leg. But again, right here is just as good. All right, let's switch sides. Cross over if you can. That inside of that knee, open up and push down. Again, if you can't go across, just go down by that uh, calf in the middle and then push down. And release. All right, I want you to cross over the right leg, over the left, so it's just crossing there, it's just hanging over here on the other side, I don't know if you can see that. Right arm is gonna cross over the left and just hold it. Lift them both up, put them back down. Cross that left one over that right. Just let it hang there. Left arm's gonna go over the right arm and hold. And release. You guys, that is it. I am super proud of you. You all made it through like rock stars. Awesome job and uh, if you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you were able to touch the floor. I wanna know if anybody was able to do that. And if your legs are burning as much as mine, <laughs> cause they're seriously burning. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, please. Helps me out tremendously and hit that bell icon. It will notify you when, you, uh, when I upload a new workout. And peace out.